Hey everyone, I am here with a tutorial to put together this really fun folio. Um, I will link this exact one below, but you can use all the concepts and ideas with anything that you have. Um, but I have made this one so it has absolutely everything that you need to create this folio and all the ephemera and everything else. So, um, on the papers, I have put the instructions that kind of give you a general idea of what everything is, but this video will really help you be able to make it come together. So I've cut everything and I have inked everything so you don't get to enjoy that portion of the process. Um, but keep in mind that I printed it on a lightweight cardstock. I believe mine is a 110 pound. And I have printed in the kit, there are three different neutral backgrounds. They're called neutrals. And you can pick and print a neutral on the back of the pages that it says. It's almost every page um, so that you have a nice neutral back. Um, let's see. I'm wondering if there's any other general instructions. And if I think of anything, I'll let you know. But that's about it. So let's just dive right in. So you have this main body piece here and you'll know where to fold it because there's a different paper. So just fold it when those papers transition. Um, now we have here this tiny, this large flap here. You're going to be gluing that on the inside and you can see it has a tiny bit of a spine to it, but this guy has a bigger spine. So this guy's going on first and, um, you don't have to center this one on the page. I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. It does not really matter because when you embellish it, yeah, you can adjust it how you want. But this guy's coming here and this is a little bit different from the other folio because I thought it might be kind of fun to have almost like a closure for the folio. So that's what this is going to Kind of be is that little closure all right so that one's in place and now we need this larger one in place and don't worry I fixed your kit so that you don't have those black dotted lines because we don't want those showing up after everything's put together now this will come here and you're so you're lining both of those up with the edge of that paper let me get that in place and then I'll give you a better view. There we go. So I'm just going to make sure that everything is closing nicely. And there you go. All right, let's go ahead and push that down really good. Get that nice and secure. That's going to form the base of this. So you have this one and then this one and you'll notice that one's wider. That's okay, that's how it's supposed to be. All right, and now we have our top flap. So you're gonna repeat that process. Only this one's gonna be lined up with the top. I'm using my art glitter glue. Um, you could do it with a glue stick. I just really, when I'm putting the folio body together, I really like it to be super stable and secure. And for me, Art Glitter Glue just has a little bit more of that stability that I like. So I'm just kind of flipping everything open and closed, making sure it goes where I want it to go. Everything looks good. It's lining up. All right. And that is the base of your folio. So now is the fun part where we get to just start embellishing everything. So let's kind of put the pockets and stuff into place first. All right, we have in this center one right here is going to be kind of a faux, uh, oh, what do they call them? Like a document envelope. So let's go ahead and put that flap down. And that's going to come right up in there, covering that. And we'll just kind of make sure all of that 
is cooperating. Excellent. And now on this one, you have these three folds that have been folded in. So we're gonna glue on those three, and then we're gonna line that up here and stick it down really good. And I'm really working hard to get a nice amount of glue along that upper edge there and these inside edges. Lining it up and squishing that down. And through this process, I'm just gonna keep kind of making sure that everything's gonna kind of close. I'm not accidentally covering something that is gonna make it so it doesn't work. All right, um, now we have these little circles that are meant to be the circles for that folio. I have these little chipboard circles here because I like to have them stick off of the page so that it leaves a little room for the string to wind around. Uh, you don't have to, you could use a button or you could just glue in the center of that circle. Um, it's really up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my card, my little chipboard circles down really good. And you can put them up higher or lower, kind of whatever you like. I'm eyeballing it. In the center, you can measure it if you want to. I think I'll do that one about there. That looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a pretty good glue bead right there to go ahead and start my string. Just kinda gonna pull that around, make sure it's attached really well. Squish that in. I'm going to get a dab more right here. Just really want that in. All right, and then I'm going to put glue right here on top. And put my little circles down. I used, I want to say it was my one inch hole punch for these. So if you would rather hole punch it than fussy cut, then that's about the size you're going to be looking for. All right. I think I want a little sign on my envelope. Maybe not. That would be cute. I'll leave that. I have so much ephemera for this kit. You'll see. So you can really play around with what you want where. So don't, um, <laughs> Don't jump ahead or do it exactly like I do it. Just do it however you want. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and attach up here. There's a little belly band. And I'm gonna go ahead and just attach that now. Does this have an upside up? Yep, it does. It doesn't really matter. You can't really tell. All right, go ahead and get that belly band on there. Let me scoot down so you can see that. So I just folded those flaps under and glued just the flaps down. So now we're gonna stick a fun little envelope under here. Um, Here's our envelope. This is how this looks when it's all done. Isn't that pretty? I love the blue. Anyway, really easy. We're just going to go ahead and glue along here. Get that a nice amount of glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue along here. And that'll fold in. And the top you just leave open. Otherwise, you won't be able to put anything in there. <laughs> and that will not be very useful. All right, so that's going to come in here. I kind of want something on there. Let me think. I think that's fun. Maybe with a little fussy cut. Would that be cute? Let's do it. Okay. 
maybe I should be embellishing at the very end, but it's just calling for me. So you can do yours completely different. This is just what I want to do right now. So I have lots of fussy cut flowers in there and some just little signs and different, I think I want that right here. Anyway, I have just a ton in this kit, probably more than you really need, but that's okay. All right, I have this really cute ad that I found. Just printed that on the card stock. That on the back, I printed one of the neutrals for journaling. That's just gonna come right into my envelope. And that belly band is about done. I made this fun label and I just wanted it to go right there. Um, I think I'll go ahead and use my art glitter glue on that. Kind of squish that around a little bit. It's really high tech. <laughs> I'm gonna put that there. And then I have this really pretty fussy cut flower that I'm just gonna put on. don't need too much when you got this art glitter glue, but I do try to get some on all of those little pieces that kind of hang out. Let's see. I like that. All right. So that's going down there and I'm making sure not to stick where I have glue right there. There we go. Okay. Ooh, cute, cute. All right. So we did that, we did that. Let's see, this flap is a fun little library pocket. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to put that together. Um, all right, we're gonna scooch the main body out of the way and we're gonna make our library pocket. This is a really easy pocket to make. This is going to be glued down onto here to kind of form the pocket. So you'll see I've just folded and inked. Again, it's that lightweight cardstock. It's just enough to give it some substance, but not too much to make folding too hard or too bulky. So I do like the 110 for that reason because you just don't want it to be too bulky. All right, that's coming right onto this backing piece. Got a little glue coming out, that's okay. Now I have this really fun little journaling card. It's gonna come right here. I love the colors of this kit. They're just soft and Happy. I'm gonna scooch that a little toward the bottom because I have a really fun little tab we're gonna put on. I'll just use my glue stick. And that's coming right here onto this journaling card. And I'm kind of going to leave that sticking up. We have the room, so no big deal. All right. So I'm just going to kind of put these things together and we'll come back through and do some details in a minute. But let's see. Oh, I have this giant rose. I love it. I want that to go on there somewhere and some lace. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're going to be doing it anyway. So we'll just do it now while the ideas are coming. All right. Cute. Oh, I like that up and down. It's a little tall, but that's okay. We can trim it. Just trim off the bottom if you want to. Cute. And then I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna do some lace first. Let's just do a little lace along here. 
And we'll put our little word strip on too. I have lots of different word strips in the kit too, so. You can kind of play around to see what you love. Cute and cute. All right. So that's kind of done. And keep in mind that you can do all sorts of sewing in this kit. So if you're going to, um, go for it. Uh, do it along the way. Make sure it's not going to get in your way for your other stuff that you're going to be putting in later. So, for example, if you wanted to sew on this, you might want to sew that before you glue it down because that way it won't go through the card as well. Now, this pocket I'm actually going to turn into a tuck. So I'm only going to glue along this side and along the bottom. That was coming out fast. We're gonna have that really glued down, which I guess that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna kind of angle it over here on this corner so I have room over back behind to tuck later on. Okay, let's see. What is next? Mm, I kind of just want a little word strip on there. I don't know, we'll think about that one. Okay. So there's our library pocket. Now what is getting tucked behind there? Oh, I know. We have, I'll move that out of the way. We have this cute little file folder here. So it's super cute. It's just a little file folder. And inside you can journal. And I have this little tri-fold little notebook to journal on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put my little word on my journal if you want, you don't have to. You could do lace on this one too because it's going inside the file folder. So it gives you a little more depth there. But that is really all you need. If you wanna add a cute little paper clip and like a little sign, that would be cute. Why not? Let's go ahead and add that cuteness. And then that goes in here. And then for mine, um, I just want to have maybe something, a little simple collage. So I have this faux ticket and it's so fun because I punch little holes with my like exacto knife. So it actually looks like it's perforated. <laughs> It was really fun, fun to make, but I kind of want that to be a tuck. Ooh, but I like that. All right, we're gonna send it. So now my perforations will get glued down, but that's okay. You could use this somewhere else and then journal on the back. I mean, yeah, there are, like I said, there are just so many options with this kit. I like that little special handling. And then I have a tiny little journal sign. I rounded all the corners with my little corner rounder. So just so you know, it is just a rectangle, but if you wanna round everything, cause then it will look really cute in that little space right there. And you can, all right. So that one now goes in this tuck behind here. Cute. Cute, cute. Okay. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I know, I have our side pockets. So I'm gonna bring these over here. There's a lot of pieces to this, which I think is fun, but it can be intimidating. So that is why I make the videos, is so you can see where everything goes and not be intimidated. All right, so we have this little tri pocket and I have these little dots printed on here and that's so you can put a bead of glue along each of those to create that third that pocket separation so we are going to just go for this I'm going to go kind of quick I don't want my glue to dry and that's kind of a lot of places to glue but I'm trying to get up next to those edges as well so we've got 
just eyeballing it coming across there to give us that pocket separation. Now I want my things to be easy to pull out of my pockets. So they are coming here so that we're pulling out rather than pulling toward the center of the book. Does that make sense? Hopefully that made sense. I kind of missed the mark on that one. That's okay. All right, so now with those beads of glue down the center here, this is gonna form three pockets. Um, I made three of them already. This time I did it this way. I don't know if you've looked at the other video that's similar, but I did it on this end with my little tab. You could do it on either and you could do some sewing, which would be really fun on that as well. But there is one and two and three. So on the next one, I'm gonna show you a little bit more how that is going to go. For this one right now, I'm gonna make this tiny guy into a little tuck. And I think, I'm just trying to decide if I wanna tuck it on this side or this side. I think I'll do this side. So I'm gonna glue down two of these sides. You probably even with that one, cause it's skinny enough. Yeah, you could make it a pocket. So I'll just do that. We'll just turn the original into a tiny little pocket for this guy. I'm gonna let that dry before I stick it in though. All right, let's come over here and you're gonna get a little more detail on this end. So we're gonna flip that baby this direction. We're gonna sew that, ex or not sew, sorry. We're gonna glue it exactly the same as the last one. Coming down those edges. Oop. All right, let's see if I can line this one up better than the last one. There we go, that's better. Make sure that still wants to close, excellent. All right, so now we have that and I'm gonna show you how to put these little cards together with a little more detail this time. So we have our three cards and our three tabs. I stole a tab from somewhere, oh, it came from here, there we go. All right, three tabs, three cards. If you want, you could do the blank side here and put another little stamp or a number circle, whatever you want. And um, just keep that in mind. So you're gonna go ahead and open these. And again, I'll, I'll show you the sample. I have it over the side like so. Um, on the other one I did, I did it like this, where it was both on one side. And then I sewed through here before I began. So just keep in mind, there's other, there's multiple options of how you're gonna put those together. So just do it how you like. And you can put those as low or as high as you want. Personal preference. That's pretty crooked. <laughs> All right, so just as easy as that. Uh, also, you can use your glue stick with these. It doesn't matter. They're not carrying a whole ton of weight, so it's okay. All right. And there's another. And here's our last one. So really easy to put these tabs on. You could even just staple them if you wanted. That would be a fun, a fun touch to add a little metal to it. And there we go. Okay, and then those will come, oh no, I forgot to glue along the, along here. So we're gonna do that right now inside of this pocket. 
how you think we did. So just keep in mind that it's not the end of the world if you forget that step. <laughs> Let's put those down. There we go. We kind of need those pocket separators if we're gonna have three little cards in there. Let's see how we did. So far, it's not looking great. Oh, that one looks great. I think, I think I just glued this on this side. There we go. Yep. All right, that'll work now. Hopefully. And we have this one. And that is still not dry. I'm going to wait just a minute until that dries because I don't want to rip anything. So we can put our little original tag in here now. If you wanted, you could do a little eyelet, which I think I want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just quickly while I'm thinking about it. It just adds so much when you just have that one little extra thing, you know? All right, and on this side, I just want, let's see, what do I want? I want a little definition, that's cute. And then maybe just a collage with a little ticket coming out, that would be fun. Ooh, but I love my repair tag. Let's see, let's turn it into a pocket again, like the other side. We'll just have a tiny little pocket and put a couple of little bits in it. There we go. I did that on this one too. I just poked little tiny holes in there so it's perforated. I think it's so dang cute. All right, so we have our repair tag and we have our little flower. Now these are hopefully dry enough. Let's see if we are beyond repair here. Oh no, it worked. Yay. Okay, we did it. Mischief managed. So there we go. We've got that. We've got our pockets. We've got our library with our little folder. We have our super cute envelope under the belly band. Let's see what goes in here. All right, in here we have a ginormous tag. I am not really going to put anything up top because I don't want to add any more height because it's already at its kind of limit. But I have this fun little uh, sign-in badge kind of a hole punch and I love it. So we'll just do that. I think I'm just going to ink around that just a little just to give it some dimension. And that one's already done. And the other thing that goes in here is this other beautiful tag that I have right here. So let's go ahead and put this together. We have this layering piece. This is the card that it goes in. Right here's the front, this is the back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down, but I'm really only gonna glue the part that isn't folded. Now, yours doesn't even have a fold on it because you can fold it wherever you want. And this is really just an extra ephemera piece, I guess, that you could layer however you want. So this is completely a sample of one option. I did not do a great job of folding that. That's okay. Um, but this is where it's gonna it gets fun. Hopefully I'm in the camera for you. Look at how bad. Oh well. Oh well. I love it. It's beautiful. Okay, that's longer than I want. So there's a couple of just different strips of paper in here if you want to tear and add some collage pieces. That's what they're there for. And that's what this one is. So that's going to come here just to add some fun layering dimension. Now I have this tiny little slide pocket and that's going to go on next. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get up nice and close to those edges. Right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and double check my sample, make sure I'm doing this about right. So I did hole punch that out. I can't remember if that's part of the kit or not, but just keep that in mind. So we have our cute little slide pocket and we have a fun little journaling card that's gonna go in there. And we have one more fun little journaling card Oh, this is so fun putting this together, you guys. I love seeing it when it all finally, finally gets assembled. So I made a little tab for this guy. And then this is fun because when you put it in, then you got a flower in your little pocket right there. So cute. All right. Now, these little guys are going to be glued on. And I'm going to put eyelets through them. They can kind of go wherever you want. Okay, I want that guy a little further out. There we go. Come on. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting him straight. That's okay. And this one's going to come over here. Now remember, I folded that down over and I'm leaving that unglued because I'm going to actually turn that into a tuck in just a minute. So now I'm going to go ahead and punch out. I'm using that hole. Hopefully you can see that to look through to just center that right over that dot that I have the little white space. Go ahead and pull out all those extras. And now we're going to go ahead and put two little eyelets in. I love it. I love when you add the eyelet. It just makes it look real. It gives it a such a pretty vintage feel. There's one. There's two. Um, I want to wind some twine through this because I did it on my last one and I thought it was a really cute, cute little effect. So I just came in and out and I went around two times because it just worked out that way and it turned out to be really cute. So I'm gonna do it again. And once again, I cut way too much, but that's okay. It makes it easy to go in and out of there. So that part's handy. All right. Now we have that. Oh, it's so cute. All right, and then on the back, we've created this little tuck. So maybe we can take this little guy and just tuck it in. He goes this way too, either way. But I love just having that little extra hiding spot. So that will go in there, and then you'll have this beautiful card. I'm looking at this, and I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but I really just want to round out those corners. So I'm gonna grab my corner rounder here. And I want a nice large, a nice large corner on that. Oh, that was not successful. Come on. Oh, I think it doesn't I like my eyelet. Let's try this one. Got that one pretty good. It does not like my eyelet. So if you're going to round your corners, round it before you get to this point. You'll be happy that you did. Okay. Now since we cut more off, we have to ink that. Cute. Very, very cute. That little flower just makes me so happy poking out of that hole. All right, this guy comes back here with our giant tag in that huge pocket there. 
So we have that. And now we can come and wrap our string around that. I'm still deciding if I want to add something onto this. Hmm. Can't decide. Oh, uh, we'll just keep thinking about it. Okay. On this page, we have this beautiful triple pocket. So I have all my little goodies ready to go in the pockets. So we have three of these. The biggest, obviously, is going to go in the back. They have tabs just like this, so you'll know exactly where to fold and glue. Um, these, I think I left the little dotted lines on these ones because they're not going to be seen. They're going to be underneath. Just make sure you get past those little dotted lines, those tiny, uh, can you see that maybe? Maybe, maybe not. They're right here. Tiny little dashed lines. Just make sure you're past that when you fold so that they aren't getting in the way. I forgot on this one, I want to cut this one off. You don't have to. This is just preference for this particular, there we go. Um, Cause I'm going to use this more like a tuck spot because the thing I want to put in that folder or that little pocket is a little bit bigger. Um, I think the rest of them should be good to just use all three sides. So keep in mind, if you want, you can just cut this little third flap right here off and it will be a tuck. So you can put wider items in the pocket. Either way is fine. Get under there. There we go. And we have one more tiny little pocket. I also made for the front of this tiny little pocket, if you want to use it, you don't have to, but there was a strip of, uh, of paper. And so I thought this would be fun to just make a tiny little belly band here. Um, you'll have to trim it down to the size that you want. But I just thought that would be fun to just have a tiny little belly band. So no fold under, just Just a tiny little belly band. Cut a little too much off, that's okay. Okay, let's see. Now this is what I wanted to put into that tuck spot. I don't think I've inked this yet. I kept making the kit and I just kept adding more ephemera pages. So, oh, that might even be too fat. Let me double check here. I need to cut some off. Just like getting stuck on. Oh, that'll work. That'll barely work. But I did print the neutral on the back, so you have cute journaling space on the back of that. And that's just a beautiful journaling card. We could add, let's add a little price tag to it, should we? That'd be cute. We'll add that. And I just wanted to paper clip a word on because I think it's fun to just add paper clips into journals sometimes. And it just kind of looks fun and snazzy sticking out. So I want to make sure that that is nice and dry there before I add that back in. So that's going to go in our back pocket. This goes in this medium pocket, just a cute little announcement card. That'll come in here. Um, we have these two cute little ephemera bits that can come in this front tiny little pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and add an eyelet here. I love them. Oh, that's a tiny eyelet hole. I think I need to go up a size here. There we go. You could put a tiny piece of lace or something instead of an eyelet. That would be really beautiful too. All right, that will come here. 
This cute little card, I think I like it here. So it's gonna get tucked right in there for that belly band. Um, I think I want a flower again on the front of that belly band. Let's see if I have one that I think is small enough. Oh, that would be so pretty. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna glue on the belly band so I don't accidentally over glue. Cute, cute, cute. Now, if you're thinking that is gonna be too wide, which it's really close, I'm gonna just trim a little off because I have a border here anyway, so it's not gonna hurt. Um, you could get your paper trimmer and trim it if you want, or you can just eyeball it, which is what I'm doing with <laughs> great success. <laughs> and you know what? Let's do it. Let's just round those corners out while we're here. So hopefully it's good good for you guys to see me still making up my mind on things as well and changing even though I have put this kit all together and worked on it I'm still adapting and changing as I put it together and I think that's important to just keep in mind like oh no mine didn't fit exactly like that no big deal like it really is okay there that is gonna fit better love it okay um I kind of want to stick something else on there. I still have all quite a few little bits over here, you guys. Look at that teeny tiny ticket. I'm just going to put it back in here. What else? I still, oh, I want to put my, that's what I'm missing. I need to put my little word back on that journal card. See how much that adds? Like, it's so cute. So cute. Okay. So, oh, I know this little pocket here. We have a tiny little pocket that's going to go there. I did round the bottom edges of this. They're not rounded when you print the kit. So just keep that in mind. No biggie. Just round it if you want that look. And I'm going to do one of these, I think on this little tag here. It just adds something, I love it. Nothing too fancy, but it gives it some, something that's a little different. That'll go in there. And I have this tiny little ticket I think I wanna put in there too. Let's see, what else do I wanna add? Oh, that's pretty. I think I'm gonna center it. All right, we have this tiny little kind of a label. And that's going to come right here. But I have a word label. It says flowers. You know what the hardest thing for me to eyeball is? Is these tiny word strips. <laughs> they always end up looking crooked on one side. But I think I want to add that to here, just for fun. Maybe we'll put it up here because I don't want to cover my cute number. Maybe sideways. That's fun. Let's do it sideways. There we go. Flowers. Awesome. Okay. And I have her. I like her. Let's put her on the front. Okay. So I'm just going to collage with this cute little picture. Oh, but I can't put my lace underneath her. I can't. I just won't do it. All right. Let's put Nellie on. I really like Nellie. That's what it says her name is. Let's come over here with Nellie. There we go. Says Nellie Maxwell. Super cute. All right, I have this tiny bit of fairly fancy lace. 
This is going to be kind of interesting to put on with art glitter glue, but I'm just dabbing on some of the thicker areas. And then I'm going to go ahead and just stick her right to that pocket. Oh, do you love that lace? Love it. Okay, now I have this fun little flower. And the flower is going to go on as well. Using my art glitter glue because it's nice and thick and I don't want to cover up too much of Nellie's name. There we go. And then I have a little word. Oh. But I'm really struggling covering that lace. So I think I'm going to call that good. And leave her just like that. And... Um, now, I do have this other collage card. How would that look behind there? Oh, that would be cute. But again, I feel like this is too big. So I'm going to actually cut this right on these lines. And then I'll just probably round the corners and re-ink. So I'm really just using this as a collage piece. Cut off the frame and let's go ahead and round before we get too much on there. It would be really fun to put some little brads in all of these corners. That would be beautiful to kind of, because it kind of is like a cover piece. Uh, so that would be really beautiful. Ugh. Guys, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. Isn't this fun? You get to come on this fun little creative adventure with me today. <laughs> and let's see. I have these really cute little Tim Holtz brads. I love the colors in them. So I'm going to put one in each corner. So let's grab four of them. And I have my all. So I'm going to eyeball. I don't want kind of tempted to bring it clear down here just so they're not oh I want them up there all right let's try I just don't want the edge to come poking out do you know what I mean so I think I need to come I'll come halfway down between I'm just eyeballing this you guys I know that probably drives some of you crazy that's okay, you don't have to eyeball it. You can measure yours. <laughs> and as soon as I get these on, I will probably regret my decision, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take these here kind of on the diagonal so they don't um, come over the edge of any of the papers. Oh, you guys, it's so cute. So, so cute. Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a really good day. I hope you're getting lots of fun, creative stuff done. Hopefully you're making this right with me because this is a fun project and I love having these folios that kind of have everything you need right there. I know it makes for a longer video, but, but when you're finished, you've got this whole Beautiful, beautiful, lovely thing. Oh, that is so cute with the brads. That was a good decision. All right. Oh, I kind of want to round this out too. That's okay. I'm going, I'm going to stop there and not worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm tempted to put like my little word label on there sticking out so you can see it. I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I love these little stars on here. So that's going to just come in here. And my other thought was, do I turn this into a pocket or is that too much? I think I'm just going to glue it down. Yes, I'm going to glue it down. I will forbear. 
And I do in my art glitter glue just so I can get a good amount over those brads to really anchor, really stabilize them. You don't need a lot through the, the middle section, but you want a little bit still. And really quickly, I want to make sure my perfect is going to show. And I want to be centered on there when it's open. Okay, cute. Is that cute or what? All right, let's see what we've got. Let's see where we're at. I have... I have a few more fussies. I'll bring it in, onto the camera, but I really have left. Some more journaling cards, some more little fussy flowers. Oh, you know what? I could put a cute fussy cut on here. That would be cute. I think I will. I think I will. So there's one. We found a spot for that cute fussy. And our cute little, I wonder if these are too tall for that. No, look how cute, it says notes. We'll put that in there too, just like that. We'll get them both poking out just a little bit. There we go. All right, that's gonna fold open. Let's see if I see any more spots to use any more of this cute stuff. So we have our triple pocket. We have our fun little journal card back here. Another journal card. I could put this tall guy back here. I distressed the edges on this. It was really fun. So I just used scissors. Just used the edge of scissors and just scraped it a little bit. We've got our little mini belly band right here. And when that opens up, we have our fun little tiny pockets on either side with our little triple cards. And up here, we have our library pocket. We have our little tiny file folder with another journaling space inside. Let's see, I'm not seeing really anywhere I wanna add anything else there. We have this guy, oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put a little flower here. Ooh, or a big flower, no, little. That's a little flower spot. Cute. Maybe it needs to come over here. Yes, it does. That's where it needs to be, right there. Now I got a little glue there. That's okay. All right, let's see. I have this. We could put this up here. You know what I want to do, though? I want to actually put some lace in that one. So I'm going to go ahead and remind myself that this is going to have some lace. And I'll just put it in there and fold it in half. I don't have my lace right here, but I'll grab some in a minute. So I'm gonna put lace in there and fold it and that'll be really pretty there. And we've got that done. Now when that flips up, we have our cute little pocket here that has a big, huge, tall tag. You know what? We could put something on there. Perfect, or a little number. Oh, that's cute. Just a tiny little number, just to spruce it up a little. All right. There's one more little bit we used. This says a garden of ideas. I could put that up along the side. Mm, I don't know. Oh, I like that. Let's do it. It'll be like a little collage. I have a couple more tabs, but I can't really see anywhere that I would add it. So that one's done. And then here we have our two little pullouts to journal card on. You know, darn, I maybe need another small flower in here. That would kind of be fun to have one that came up over that slide. But this one I feel, feel like is a little bit too big. So that's okay, we won't do it. I'm gonna put one right here though on the back because I like it. 
I like that fussy cut flower. And it wasn't really too bad cutting them out. I just kind of sat and relaxed and did it while I was just listening to a class thingy that I was doing online. So that was fun. And then we have this little tuck right here. Cute. I don't really think I want to add any more to that or our pocket's going to overflow. <laughs> All right. And let's see. Oh, we have our belly band with our envelope and our little fussy cut. Maybe we could add something on this. Oh, but I don't know. I just think this is so perfect. I love this ad. I love it. We could add a little... Oh, that would be fun. We'll do it. We'll just add one little number. You could do some other sewing. You could do some other stamping. Oh, I just hate covering any of it. I think it's so lovely. Let's do it this way. There we go. Um, yeah, so some stamping would be fun, some inking. But anyway, that, we almost used every single bit. We are pretty close. Oh. I have some more tear papers too. I should get those up here so you don't wonder what they are. These are just some extra tear papers that I added to the kit. But that, why are you being picky? There you go. That is the kit. So you're gonna fold that baby in first, and then this, and then this, and then this. And if you wanted, you could just tie some uh, lace or something around to kind of secure that. But wow. It's just fun. It's just chunky and heavy and I love it. So anyway, I will put the link below. This is a fun project. I hope you love it. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.